Hello and welcome again to Scotland's West Coast Walks. We're today we're down the front of Largs. We're going to head towards the marina, just in the distance there, and we're going to go up to Kelburn Castle because they've got a, a market stall, a farmer's market going on. <laughs> so I'll just take you along the journey. Really nice day today, considering it's the end of September, maybe September weekend actually, there's, so there's fireworks displays going on tonight over Millport. The old house, my, my kids think is haunted. But it's where they've seen ghosts at the window. I can't believe how nice a day it is today. T shirt weather, the end of September in Scotland. Can you believe it? And just round this corner is the sandy beach. It's probably the only sandy beach in Largs. Not many of the tourists know about it because no one comes down this way very often. But I'll show you that. So it's just round this corner. See, it's a wee bit of sandy beach there, but the main bit's just round here. Just see the pencil. So it's up in front of us. Wow, well, a lot of the a lot of the beach has disappeared because of the the grass, see it? That, oh, yeah. that was all sandy, I think they need to come out and do something about that. There's only that wee bit left. Yeah, that was all. Still there. Bridge, really bridge. Some really nice houses over there, up the hills. Oh, 
there's a wee sandy beach there. Not many people know about it. This is us just approaching the pencil. You'll see that just in front of us. That is to commemorate the when the Vikings fought the Scots. It was the last time they ever fought. They were sent homeward. Normally you might have one, and they're in it for Nice calm day as well. Port just in the distance, heading over the mill port. Okay, I'll take you over there in the future. is a marina. We've got to go around the back of that to get towards Kelburn Castle which is up in the hills you can see just in front of yourself. So off we go. We're not actually going to go into the manure, we're going round the back of the car park. It's like a, a wee sneaky way you can go to get to Kelburn Castle, avoiding the, the main roads. It looks like there's some sort of people showing off their citrons here. Just go this way, the marina. It's obviously over that way. But you go around this way, and this leads to the wee, the wee path at the back of the marina. It just saves you again going near the main road, having to walk along the main road towards Kelburn. A lot of overnight campers here as well.
again this stretch is, I would say, just less than half a mile walk. It's a nice walk, nice and quiet. See the railway tracks just there, and just across there's the main, the main road. You see the camper van going by there. But this way's a lot quieter. See, there's a lot of old anchors in place here. That's the back of the marina. You'll get a better shot at further up here. Oh, it's warm today. I was not expecting this. And if you're coming this way with your dog, just be careful because that's all that's separating you from the railway tracks. So I wouldn't let your dog run loose here. Especially if it's a larger dog. Lots of camper vans in there. They must be selling them as well now, as well as the boats. So you see what I mean with the train. You don't want your dog running about there. Better to be safe than sorry. There's literally thousands and thousands of boats in this marina. It's one of the, the largest ones in Scotland, I believe. Could be wrong. It certainly looks like it. This is like a, a graveyard for old parts of the trailers. There's the way, the back entrance to the marina. Gives you a bigger idea of how actual large marina is down here. And that's the back of the marina, that's where it, it ends there. Unfortunately, it's a rocky beach here. It's really secluded, but it's not very comfortable. As you can see, just rocks everywhere. So I was almost at the entrance to Kelburn. I believe we go under a railway bridge here, if I'm right. There's a big house just at the other side of it. Oh, watch my head. Jeez, oh. Yeah. Don't remember that been there. That might be a new build. Just got another couple of minutes to go, and then we need to cross the road and head up towards Kilburn Castle. You see the distance there, the sign for Kilburn? So that's where we're heading. This is where they keep all the sheep, but obviously we're almost in October, so it's a sheep free zone. It's a little over there. Just 
the main road ahead of us. This way is much better. So it's just cross the road. Just cross there. And we're heading up into Kelburn Castle. The Kelburn Castle's free, but if you're bringing a car, it's five pound to park, as you can see there. And we've got to walk all the way up there. Again, a lot easier if you've got a car, but it costs you five pound. You can get in for free today. And it's a good wee day for the kids. It's not a far, a quarter mile walk up here. No, maybe not even that. You've got your golf course to the left there. Oh, there's some sheep in the field there. And if I'm looking up, oh, there's a car, keep it on the road. Almost there. That's where we're heading, just in the distance there. Got the wee village. And behind there will be the castle. And there's a spill off car park as well. So, plenty of places to park. I believe this is the entrance to the market. Not too sure. Okay, we'll take you through. Let's see what this is like. All oh, right, this is very busy. Just give you a quick barrel round. Ah, they can share that. Again, I can't film in there properly, it's just too busy, too small, it's really dark. Just lots of different little gifts. You can get coffee, you can get some gin. But we're going to head over towards the, the castle in the, the little village and see what's over there. He's getting cotton candy made. Probably the biggest I've seen in a while. That'll keep her happy, keep her quiet for maybe half an hour. If you're coming up here, the drinks are £7, this is gin, and the coffee's £3.50. Not a bit expensive, but there you go. Yeah. Let's see any okay? Oh, 
<laughs> That'll keep you busy for a wee while. <laughs> <laughs> this is just another overspill car park. So there's parking really for a good few hundred people, a few hundred cars. And we're just going to get around the corner there towards the castle. Okay, here we go. Podium there. Is, uh, shows you all the attractions are. Oh, we'll just wander a bit anyway. Can we go in the shop? Uh huh. Secret Forest. We also have Halloween nights here as well. And they do Santa's Grotto here. No, it's private, darling. There's a wee gift shop over there. Can you wait? Gift shop. This is the outdoor kids play area. Let's get through and see. Yeah, they're in through here. This is good for the kids to run about. Three slides. Hey, let's film myself getting up here. <clears throat> If I can find the regions, I'll show you a bit of the view surrounding the area if I can get to the top. Go the wrong way. Right, got to get down to go up. Jeez. <laughs> hey, how'd you get to the top? This way, Hey, right, show me. Oh, nearly smacked my head. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh. There's a ladder, but I can take the camera and you can, and I can fly. A ladder? I don't know if I'll go right up the very top. Hiya. Hi, Daddy. I can, I can take the camera up. 
Let's see. Oh no, I'm not going up there. Let me oh no, you're not taking the camera. Up. You just go up there, I'll just take a bit of here. There's a witch's cottage. Various animals. We're going to head up there next. That's it, Ranger Centre. We'll do a wee guided tours there. And here's the chicken pen.